Welcome to the Mariner Oyster Prisms and Breakwater Blocks materials video. My name is Jess Bone and I'm a research assistant for the Mariner project. This video is going to give you a more detailed look at the materials used for both the Mariner Oyster Prisms and Breakwater Blocks. A very important part of the Mariner project was to test different concrete formulas to select the right one and to gain a better understanding of the cement and aggregate mineralogy. This means we can ensure the production of a high quality, durable, eco-engineering product that has a long service life, enhances biodiversity and is readily colonisable and is therefore value for money. It also demonstrates to stakeholders and coastal practitioners that these eco-engineering designs are safe to be in the public realm and form part of coastal infrastructure, whether that be sea walls or breakwaters. Four concrete mixes were developed and optimised by varying the type of cement, CEM2 and CEM5, and the types of aggregates in accordance with the European standard for the environmental class XS3. A substitution of 20% of the 4 to 10 mm gravel by crushed oyster shell was made in order to use this waste product of the shellfish industry and also improve the bioreceptivity by increasing surface texture. In order to select the best concrete mix design for the manufacture of oyster prisms and breakwater blocks, sample blocks were produced with each formula and immersed in natural and artificial seawater after 90 days of curing. The different concrete samples were placed in cages then submerged in the Rance River of Dinard, France, in June 2019. The immersion was carried out during three months from June to September which coincides with a native oyster reproduction cycle. After this period, samples were recovered and immersed in semi-enclosed mesocosms at the CREC University of Khan Marine Station for 12 months. In order to determine the effect of biocolonization on the concrete durability, concrete samples were immersed for the same time periods in artificial seawater, allowing a comparison between the durability of samples immersed in natural versus artificial seawater. To evaluate the concrete durability against the marine environment, different material properties were investigated, such as water porosity, resistance against chloride ion diffusion, and mechanical resistance. These results for the chloride ion migration show the chloride ion content after 90 and 180 days immersion in artificial and natural seawater. Here we can see in the top two graphs for chloride ion migration that CEM2 based concretes without and with shell aggregate perform better than CEM5 based concretes with chloride ion content remaining relatively low from 2 to 10 mm depth from the concrete surface. These results show the mechanical strength of concrete mixes after 90 days of curing and after 90 and 180 days immersed in artificial and natural seawater. This chart shows that all concrete mixes tested show sufficiently high compressive strength for use in the oyster prisms and breakwater modules. The chosen formulation for both the oyster prisms and breakwater blocks was CEM2 concrete with shell aggregate. This concrete presents a sufficiently high mechanical resistance and a better resistance against chloride ion diffusion than the CEM5 concretes tested. Thanks for watching. There are more videos in the Oyster Prism and Breakwater Block series which are listed on screen. Be sure to also visit our social media on the Marinoff Project website for more resources.